Mama jumped in with her, shook the cage on her, said he couldn't get out. And Mama freaked out, was just holding the kitten, walking around in circles, trying to find a way out. Let her out. And she went right back underneath there, which is the worst place in the house. She's right underneath here. She's literally right underneath here, which is not the best place in the house for a kitten because it gets really cold there. It's very, very drafty underneath there. Hello! Welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday! And it's actually late because I've got the vlog because I had a lot of interesting stuff happen today. Uh, we'll get into that in a minute. Oh, look, it's a kitty cat. And we have a new cat now. And I'll tell you why in a second. And I'll show you why in a second. But yeah, we got a little kitty cat. A new one. Anyways, guys. Uh, let's get to the start. I will come back and make some. Hi, right, guys. Uh, before we get to the start, I want to tell you guys to remember like, subscribe, and click the bell. Right I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So, so I woke up this morning. And right here was a was a cat bed, and inside it was Mama laying with a brand new kitten. I have a picture. I won't put the picture here. Boop. Boop. Right there. Uh, there's a picture. Uh, hope you can see the baby. And yes, now she disappeared because I know where she is. I want to go make food for breakfast in the kitchen, and then she disappeared with the baby. But she's underneath the couch now. She's underneath there, which. Is not a good place because the kittens like to go in there. Which is why I have this set up. We're going to try to put her here in here with the kitten. I hope. Try to get her going here with the kitten. For at least a few days. Or at least majority of the time, you know. So she stays with the kitten in there. Because it's really cold underneath here. Because back there is the worst wall in the house. Because that window is ridiculously bad. There's like no insulation around that window at all. And underneath this, this gets super duper cold. And I feel sorry for her. And it's probably too cold for the kitten. So we're going to try to get her to come out into this thing. Away from you guys, because you guys are already after the kitten. Because she sees Mama right there, and she wants to play with him. Because she's literally right here. And also, where the kitten's at, uh, one of the cats broke the lining on the bottom of the couch. So the kitten's actually not on the floor. She's in, in, the, in the couch itself, which is not good for a baby. And also, like, the lining falls down and up, and Mama can't find her sometimes. And she starts freaking out. Which I've been trying to get her out, but right now she's in her, underneath her nursing with her. I don't want to be able to bother her. We'll wait till Mama comes out, and we'll try to grab the baby. Again, I've been doing this all morning. And every time I do, Mama gets mad at me, obviously. It's literally just born in the last couple hours. So, yeah. I woke up, and that was happening. What about you? You got a new brother slash sister? It's a little kitty cat. Oh, my goodness. We can't handle all these cats. Leave Jake alone. Anyways, guys, I gotta go put the chickens away. Because it was actually, it was cold the last couple days. And now we got, most of the snow was like 40 degrees. Away. It has been like 18, 20 degrees for like three days. Every day, I wish I could film the snow. Every time I go to film the snow... It's not a vlog day, so I don't film it. I should just film it and then put it in the vlog somewhere else when I do vlog on Monday. Because every day I film, it's always the weekend or Friday through Monday. And it's always <laughs> that when we have all the snow. We had like two inches of snow the other day. And also, guys, I, don't, I think I mentioned this in a, in, a, in, a, in a live stream. My mom and dad got stuck on the main road for like four hours because it was just sheer ice straight from the city to where we live on the main road. And it was just sheer ice. No one could move. They, they closed the road down for like three hours and then they took the truck to go break up the ice and salt the roads and it got stuck. And they had to send another one. It was stuck behind all the traffic. He couldn't get through. So my dad, this is what happened. My mom left work at like seven o'clock. Actually, it was like six o'clock. She got stuck in traffic up here on this side of the of the road on this side. And then so they decided to turn around, and go back to Kroger's and and get food because, you know, why not? They had might as well wait anyway. So they decided to go there for like an hour or two. And then they get back on the road to come this way up the main road because that's like the back road to get them up this way. It was completely shut down. Then they come up this way, and this road's completely shut down, and they didn't get home till 10 o'clock that night, which is insane. Insane. They're stuck in traffic for four hours. And finally, uh, everyone pulled off the road and let the snow truck go through the snow plow, and they salted the road, and the ice finally melted it. And it was ridiculous. No one could move. It was just solid ice, full drive, nothing would work. It just, like this, because it rained for like four days straight, and then it just froze all of a sudden. And so the roads were just salt ice. I don't know why they didn't salt the roads beforehand. Hindsight, guys. Hindsight 2020. Uh, it was insane. Right? It was actually insane. Let me go put the chickens away because it's dark. I let you the chickens out for the first time today in, like, all week because it's been... Oh, today's also the first day of, of deer season with the bang bang, which I don't want to say what it is because YouTube has really strict laws. Laws. Like, YouTube has laws. Rules. There we go. Rules, not laws. Rules are not laws, technically, uh, about saying certain things. And, yeah. Anyways... I guess I will come back in a minute. I'm going to go get the, put the chickens on. I'll come back in a minute. So, Hi, guys. I'm back. So, I finally got, I, I told you guys earlier, was, we have a new kitten. I finally got the kitten out without Mama nosing. Put it in there. Mama came running there as soon as possible because he was meowing. 
put her in here, holding the kitten, walking around in circles, trying to find a way out, let her out, and she went right back underneath there, which is the worst place in the house. She's right underneath here. She's literally right underneath here, which is not the best place in the house for a kitten because it gets really cold there. It's very, very drafty underneath there. It's very, very drafty. Right, dummy? You guys are born over there in the corner. And all the kittens keep going at the bigger kittens. They keep going out there and finding out what's under there because the kitten keeps meowing. Mama's mad at me now because I touched her babies. Uh, so I don't know what's going on. I don't know what to do. If she wants to have the baby right there, she's going to have to have the baby in there because she won't take no for it. That's where she wants to have the baby. That's where she wants to have the baby, I guess. Sorry about that. Internet or phone issues. I had a launch set to go off and it went off. <laughs> and it messes up my recording. Oh. Anyways, guys. So, if you didn't know... The new Pokemon game just dropped like a couple days ago. I think within the week. Mama, you want in here now? This is the best place for your baby, Mama. I'm telling you. Look, best place for your baby's in here. Mama, look, best place for your baby's in here. Come here. That's the best place for your baby. Go get her and bring her in here. No? Bring back bad memories when you stuck in here as a kitten. Did they bring back? There she goes again. There she goes. Hit the couch. That's where she's keeping her baby at, which. I... Guess she feels safe underneath there, which I don't know. I don't know. I hope she's safe. Under it's safe underneath. I don't know if it's a boy or girl or not, obviously. You have to wait a couple weeks. But uh, anyways, I don't, I'm trying not to touch her as much as I can yet because, you know, don't want to disturb Mama too much. Anyways, uh, the new Pokemon game's dropped in, within the last couple of days. Apparently, I don't know if I'm going to get it or not. If I do, it probably won't be till Christmas time or after Christmas, um, like sometime in January. I don't know. Kind of got burned out on Pokemon the last couple games. I did not. I hate it. Sword and Shield was like my least favorite Pokemon game ever. And then I played BDSP or Brilliant Diamond, whatever version I had. And it was trash, obviously, too. I didn't like it either. And then Legend Arcus re-sparked my curiosity for the game. I was excited for it because it I loved the catching in that game and how the battling was and it changed a bunch of stuff. And now the new game came out. It's kind. They didn't keep the the catching mechanics so you have to walk up to every pokemon again and start a battle with them which is kind of annoying that was like the best thing about legend arts was like you could just chuck pokeballs everything and just run around and th catch pokemon to your heart kind of which is cool they did change a lot of the textures on pokemon and they changed a lot of the textures on the person but it's very very janky the game looks very janky i've been watching reviews on it all day so it looks very very janky and especially on the switch it does not like it <laughs> the switch does not like it at all it's just very janky <laughs> and People are saying it's, it has a lot of texture issues, graphic issues. It is not completed. They need to take like a year off. They released two games this year, I swear. Two games in one year. It's kind of insane. And one's an open world game. They need to take like, just give us like a year off of no Pokemon games. And maybe two years. And just focus on one game for two years. Well, obviously, they don't release one game a year, right? They've been working on for like three years because they do. They start the main game. What are one of the game and they have like another team working on like the side game. And they have another team working on like a remake. And then they do the remake. And then that next year they release that, the main game, right? That's usually how it's been. But releasing a game every November is getting insane. And especially when the games are getting bigger and bigger and more graphical issues. And they need to just take like three, four years. Maybe, honestly, I think they should just do, they should take like two years off of Pokemon. And let the, give the anime, like, hey, anime. The next anime series, you need to go a year longer and give us more time to work on the next game. Bam. That will solve a lot of problems. <laughs> or be like, hey, everyone, card game. I know it's hard to do that because anime is like, oh, we're going to have a new anime every year. And then Pokemon cards like, oh, we got to have new Pokemon cards. And they're like, oh, if we don't keep putting out Pokemon games, people are going to figure out what we are. No, they're not. And especially this new game because it has a lot of replayability. Maybe that's why they build it like that. Because you have 18 badges when you have to get 8. So you can replay and get as many different badges as you want. Which also, the replayability, it's kind. the open world is kind of... Not truly open war because you can't really battle the gyms any way you want because there there's no algorithm to, to cap to your level. Like if all the gyms was at your level, then yeah, you could get it any way you want. But there's only a certain way you can do it because all the gyms have the same levels no matter where you go. Like they want you to follow the gym pattern basically. Of course there's three different paths you can take. So you do like you could do the gym path, you could do another path, I forget what they're called. I haven't really researched too much again. I'm gonna watch reviews but not like Reviews like the story, so I'm not really quite sure how the story goes because I want to I want to play it myself someday. Maybe I don't know yet. But yeah, new Pokemon game looks. People say it's the best Pokemon like gameplay wise. It's good. Like they change a lot of stuff and it's, and it's cool. But they say it's not the best. It has a lot of technical issues, which it needs more time. Up. They say if it had like a year extra or maybe two years, it would have been the best Pokemon game ever. So go figure. So I don't know.
Pokemon games are always been rushed. Well, not always. Heck, back in my day, they had like one or two games on a console. Like, you had two games on the on the. You had two games on the Game Boy. You had two games on the. Actually, no. You had three games on the 3DS. You had Diamond and Pearl. Then you had uh, Soul Silver that version. And you have Black and White. That was a cunt because the DS had a really long lifespan. But then the 3DS we had we had X and Y. We had uh, Alpha Sapphire. We had uh, Gen. We had Alola. <laughs> and now on the Switch. And we, we, the Switch has, gee whiz, we've had Arceus, we've had BDSP, we've had, it's getting worse and worse, we're putting out way too many games, and I'm actually getting Pokemon Overload at this point. Just take the time to make the game better, like, give them, like, two years off. <laughs> like, don't release a Pokemon game for two years, and just see what happens. I bet you the next game will be way better. Just give them, like, two years, nothing about Pokemon, maybe one spinoff. Do, do a spinoff, and then give it, like, two years. Like, release, okay, do, like... That'll probably be about the same thing. Do like a do a main game, then do a spinoff like a year or two later. Then do a, do a spinoff a year later, and then take two years off and then do a main game. That that's all they have to do. That way they give way more time to work on the games, and it'd be way more better for them. At least then you get two years back to back of Pokemon, and then you get two years of no Pokemon to play those games. Because m- heck, I just beat BDSP and Arceus like two months ago, <laughs> and the new games came out already. It's kind of insane the fast turnaround these games are, and they're getting the games are getting more and more complex, and also. Please add voice acting to the game. Like, why is there still no voice acting? It's just so, so ridiculous not to have voice acting in Pokemon games at this point. Seriously, especially from Nintendo and Game Freak and the Pokemon Company, which owns all of them, technically, because Pokemon Company owns Game Freak and then Pokemon Trading Card. It, technically, it's a Pokemon Company. But uh, anyways, and Nintendo is just like a publisher. It's weird. Game Freak is like, it, it's really weird. But anyways, give them voice acting. This is getting ridiculous at this point. Just hire the anime characters to voice act the game. How hard is that? Like, what? It's so weird. There's no voice acting in a Pokemon game. I don't think it's as egregious as it was in Black, Black and White. As it was in uh, uh, Sword and Chill, where there's literally a voice singing Gym Leader, and there's no song, it's just, like, just static. Of, when the guy's... It looks utterly ridiculous. But, yeah, Sword and Chill is my least favorite Pokemon game. Now, the DLC helped a lot with that game. I think the DLC was the best part of that game, Sword and Chill. BS, BDSP was okay. It was just basically Diamond and Pearl remade very faithfully, but too faithfully, and there was, like, an underground tunnel. That was it. And that was about it. It was kind of ridiculous how weird that game was. But it was had a lot of issues. Collision issues and stuff like that. But anyways, guys. I guess I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So, Hi, guys. I'm back. So today was a live stream day when I'm filming this. And as you can tell, I didn't live stream. I put it out short instead because YouTube is not letting me live stream. I th- I'm th- pr- I'm like 90% sure it was YouTube's fault. Because I have never had issues like that before. I don't know what was happening. OBS was like... I, or, I would... I would I would, start, I would press start streaming and then it would be like, we are not getting enough bandwidth to maintain. And my internet was like 10 megabytes download or upload. And it was like 25 download. It was, I have no idea what was happening. I'm pretty sure it was YouTube servers being stupid or something. I don't know, but I could not live stream tonight. So I feel bad. So no Cyberpunk this week. Oh, well, we'll have to do it next week, I guess. And I told you guys this, but we got new kitties. And this one's watching them all day. Why are you so fascinated by new kittens, huh? Huh? Fuzzy Wuzzy? Leave them alone. They just sit there and watch them. This one just sits there and watches them all day. You know those are kittens, right? 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 He said, yeah, I know. This one, he doesn't. She doesn't. These, this one cares the most. I don't know why this one's all up in it. All interested in them. I don't know why <laughs> Why she's so interested in them. Fuzzy Wuzzy is. But, uh, yeah. Oh, I thought it was just one. But it's actually two. She had another one at some point. I only saw one, but nope, she had two. So, yeah, she has two kittens now. And now we have two extra cats we got to find a place for. These cats are getting ridiculous. Ridiculous. Redonkulous. Hey, hey, don't dig out the root. Seriously, cat. They killed this tree, by the way. I'm pretty sure my cherry tree completely died. Because these nutty cats. They're near me. I think they want mama. I don't know where mama is. Mama will come. Give him food, I guess, in a minute. I think Mama might be under with them. I'm pretty sure she's under with them. She's not very far away from it. <laughs> she's not. We had to put a heating pad under there because we had to put them on a heating pad because where they're at is super cold. Like this is the coldest part of the house because there's a lot of draft coming here, and Mama refuses to put them anywhere else. I've tried to put them in different places. Every time I put them somewhere else to get them warmer, Mama just moves them right back underneath the couch. So that's where they're gonna stay, I guess, until they're big enough to to run out by themselves, I guess. And yeah, Mama is taking no for an answer and won't leave them. So I'll put a heating pad underneath there and put them on a heating pad on the low. We might have to get a, uh, a, uh, 
a one thing, like one of the microwave thing, because they're safer than a heating pad and plus it stays on longer because the heating pad will stay on for like two hours. So I gotta be really careful with it. Hey. Who's cranky over here? The boy cats hate these kittens, by the way. This one, he's a boy. Yeah, you're definitely a boy. And plus, our other boy cat, Oro, hates these kittens. They do not want nothing to do with them. They're getting very, you're getting territorial, you know that? Come here. Hey, just because your mama gave, and you're not your mama's favorite no more, don't mean you gotta beat them up. Especially, Ore Oreo's the crazy one. He's cranky because there's new cats. This one's not too bad. He's the one to do with them. Yeah, the, your girl cats just sit there and watch them. These two are girl cats, they just sit there and watch them. Look, they're just sitting there watching them all day. And we try to put them in a box too, by the way. But that didn't help any. Kittens were like, nope, no box for us. Bloop. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I guess I'll talk to you guys in a few minutes. I got into vlogs. So Hi, guys, I'm back in the vlog. Did not do a lot today. It was the first day of uh, deer season, and no one's showing up for us. I mean, there's people hunting over there because Monko lets people hunt there because technically his, like, he owns all that. We own, like, well, we don't, my dad, it, it's all complicated. We're, <laughs> it's weird how complicated it is. But yeah, technically Monko owns all that across the road and up, up above us a little bit. But yeah. Anyways, we have no one hunting on it right now. That, well, we have the neighbors hunting on it and a couple other people and someone else showed up today and went hunting on it. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, I didn't go hunting. Uh, I could, technically, but I don't see a need to. Because usually our, my cousin gets a deer and he gives us a lot of meat anyway. So there's not really a need for me to go hunting. I mean, I could. We could always use more deer meat, but we don't really have a deep freezer to put in anything. And usually one deer between, between the both of us usually puts over a freezer anyways. And yeah. Anyways, guys, enough about that. Uh, also, we got kittens, which is really, I didn't know that she was that close to having babies, but apparently we had babies. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, I guess I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. So, all right, guys, I just want to tell you guys, thank you for making some more video. If you did, it really means a lot to me. If you want to watch more, you can click these two videos and subscribe down below. Do all three, do none, do anything you want. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. So,